Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who deserves all of our praise. A God who has done everything for us. A God who loves us and gives us the choice to choose Him or not. Praise God for that. Order of encouragement comes from 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, starting at verse 18. I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. You know, as I think about these words, I'm reminded of the fact that God calls us to, to holiness. Uh, he says, in fact, in other places, be holy because I am holy. Uh, it's this idea that uh, we can do this, that we can be perfected. We can be perfected in God. Now, to be perfect means to be uh, used as, as we were as we were created, as God desired for us, that means to be perfect. It doesn't mean that we're uh, without sin. But this idea here is the idea that we can live without sin. Uh, we don't have to sin. Sin becomes a choice for those who belong to Christ because Christ has set us free. His death on the cross, his resurrection, that set us free from the slavery to sin. Uh, once we receive that, we no longer have to sin. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have temptations or urges or those things that come in our life. They're certainly going to be there. The difference is we get to choose. Do we want to continue to do this? Uh, and because God loves us, because God has done so much for us, our desire should be to be more like him, to be more holy, to be reverent. And it says here, uh, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. And so as we revere God, as we respect God, as we, we love God, then we want to have our life perfected in holiness. Now, we can't do this on our own. Uh, this is something that comes from seeking God's help uh, and the hope of the Holy Spirit in our life and, and having it lead us. And it means... Uh, you know, getting, walking away from sin, getting as far away from sin as we can and seeking towards the things of God. And we can do that by uh, simple things that come to mind is, you know, uh, being in the Word, reading the Scripture often, by praying often, by, um, you know, calling out the name of Jesus as needed. Um, all these things seem may seem trivial at times, but they help us as we walk toward Christ. Uh, the other things we can do is, uh, not that we have to do it 100% of the time, but we can focus on godly things like, you um, on the radio, Christian music, uh, and when we're watching TV, Christian programming or programming that supports um, our, our, our Christian ideas. Um, we can, you know, listen to, to Christian podcasts or, or speakers, uh, all those things to fill ourselves with uh, the heart and mind of God rather than the world. Um, and so it becomes this idea of how much do we want to know God? How much do we want to seek to, the reverence of God in our lives in order that we might be more like him? Um, that's not to shut ourselves off from the world completely uh, in order to reach those in the world. I think we have to have some semblance of what's going on in the world. Um, we can't discuss things that we don't know anything about. If you, and, and, you know, we want to talk about politics. You have to know something about it. If you want to talk about music, you got to know something about it. So we, we need to be in the world, but not of the world. And that means living out our lives in reverence for God in a holy way uh, that doesn't subject us um, to falling into temptation into, into the temptation to sin so often, but that subjects us to loving God and being close to Him in the midst of all that's going on around us. So today I just want to encourage you, hold tight to God, hold on to His hand, uh, walk beside Him each step of the way. And as we step through the world, through this, pro through this uh, period of life that He has us, uh, let's do our best to reflect God in all that we do. Uh, God loves us and we want to love him back. And this is how we show our love for him. Not that we have to, but we choose to because we love him. Praise God for that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that because of your great love for us, we have become part of your family. And because we've become part of your family, we, Lord, are in awe of you. In awe of a holy God who would uh, give us this chance, who would, who would uh, send us atonement through Jesus Christ that we might have eternal life. It would have been easy for you to discard us except for the fact that you love us. And so, Lord, you never discard us. In fact, we believe that uh, the, the, that hell is, a, is simply a choice that people make, that you aren't sending people to hell as much as uh, just showing them what their heart desired, to be with you or not with you. And so because of your great love, you give mankind their choice. And we thank you for that. Lord, help us to make the right choice. Help us, Lord, to draw close to you and near to you. Help us, Lord, to grab out your hand and to get as far away from sin as we can that our lives might reflect your life in us, your spirit in us, that others might want to know you. Father, just bless those who are watching this today. Use them in a mighty way in their workplace, in their homes, in their families, uh, wherever they may be. Use them, Lord, that you might get glory. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do this beautiful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. I know it's not easy uh, living out the Christian life sometimes. Uh, the devil wants to hit us with everything he's got. But when we live out our life for him, we find his peace and joy and happiness. 
I want that for you and I want that for me. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.